bit stubborn at the gate. And they're up and racing. On the outside, Queen Bess breaks alertly, going out for the lead, quickly joined by Song of India, moves through on the inside to challenge. Back in third is Sophie's Angel, and racing fourth, Susie's stepping out. They continue down the backside. Song of Indy now rushes through on the inside and takes the lead away from Queen Bess, who settles back in second. There's another two lengths back to Sophie's Angel in third, and in fourth, Susie's stepping out. The field of four in single file as they head to the turn, led by Song of Indy. That's your six to five favorite. Sitting in second, Queen Bess, another length and a half, two, back to Sophie's Angel, and Susie's stepping out still at the back and looking to move up the inside. The quarter mile went a time of 22 and four fifth seconds, and it's still Song of Indy holding on to that advantage, inching closer down along the inside. Here comes Susie stepping out, Queen Bess back in third with Sophie's Angel outside now looking to move up again. It's still Song of Indy. Susie stepping out, comes alive on the outside takes a short lead inside song of indy trying to battle back but susie stepping out at five to two gets the win song of indy second best over sophie's angel back and forth queen bess unofficial winning time 110 and one And racing right to the lead, Matcha right alongside will be seeking Violet outside, three wide side action down towards the inside. Laugh it off, will need some racing room. And up past that now, Pramila Lyricist is the early trailer. They head around that turn and on the lead, there goes Seeking Violet, looking to run away and hide. Clear by four and a half, five now. Down along the inside, Matcha, a joint second with the side action to the outside. Another two lengths back to now Pramila and the trailers are Laugh It Off and Lyricist. Opening quarter goes in 25 and three fifths seconds. Seeking Violet with that lead out there at nine to two. Opens up by four or five lengths. In second outside side action. Matcha looking to come back along the rail there and then racing up into fourth. Now Pramila followed by Laugh It Off and Lyricist still trailing the field. Seeking Violet heads to the turn holding on to to a five, six, seven length lead in second on the inside, Matcha right alongside to the outside. That is going to be side action in third, four or five back to now Pramila and the trailers remain, Laugh It Off and Lyricist. It's all seeking Violet, seeking the winner circle tonight. And right now at the top of the stretch, the rest have got a lot to do. Starting to make up some ground though on the inside is Matcha. Side action there on the outside, trying to close in as well. Then back in fourth go Pramila, followed by Lyricist and Laugh It Off. It's still seeking Violet with the lead. Down on the inside, side action, trying to get there. On the rail is Matcha, but it's still seeking Violet. Late charge on the outside from Laugh It Off, but they won't get Seeking Violet. Saved by the wire all over Laugh It Off. In third was now Pramila. And in fourth, side action. Winning time, 140 and four. They're in the gate. And they're off and racing. A good even break down on the inside, Claw. Gets out there for the early advantage. Going to be joined on the far outside by Fishman, who's up to press the pace. And Fishman takes off on the lead. Back between horses is Lexitoga racing in the third spot. Now passed on the outside by Starship Empire, who's going to move towards the leaders a little early in this race. Down along the inside, Lexitoga back fourth. Then on the inside, hot traffic. Hey, Griff to the outside. Two more back to the trailer. And that is Mutafani. Quarter mile, 25 flat as they head down the backside. The leader remains Fishman. Mario Pino out there with the advantage. About a length and a half, two on Claw. Back in third on the outside, Starship Empire. On the inside, here comes hot traffic up into fourth alongside Lexitoga. Then it's Hey, Griff. Riff and still at the back is Mutafani. They head to the turn and Fishman trying to make every step a win winning one holds on to the lead. It's down to a length as Claw looks to move up alongside. In third poised is Starship Empire. Then back along the inside racing in fourth comes Hot Traffic alongside Lexa Toga and then Mutafani at the back. The opening half went in 50 flat and now Claw says go. Willie Martinez up to take a short lead. Outside coming late is Starship Empire. Back Fishman in third towards the inside and behind them comes Lexa Toga. Hot Traffic towards the inside and down the center is Hay Griff. They dash for home and it is Claw with the lead. Here comes Starship Empire taking flight, trying to get to Claw. 
Adil Ayala outside, Willie Martinez inside, and Claw is on to a head-bobbing victory. Looks like he held on to me, but it's going to be a photo finish for the judges. They'll decide the exact order of finish. Back in third was Lexatoga. Winning time, 139 and 1. Hold all tickets, photo finish between the two and the six. They're in the gate, and they're off and racing. Down on the inside, it's Chaos Kid breaking alertly, and there goes, you have to be kidding me, storming up to take the lead. Into third, that is going to be Chuckles Candy. Then towards the inside comes Art of the Dream. He's joined on the outside by Texas Giant. And then driving up the rail, very replaceable. And then the, towards the back of the pack, we have Bandy's Map and On Base. As they head to the back side, opening up on the lead, you have to be kidding me, Harry Hernandez trying to pull the upset here on the outside at 11 to 1 opens up by six lengths chaos kid on the move in second another seven eight lengths back to very replaceable sitting in third then comes chuckles candy art of the dream towards the inside then to the outside comes texas giant on base looking to move up and that makes the trailer Bandy's map, half 47 flat, and you have to be kidding me, has that lead. It's still a good six or seven lengths. Chaos Kid stalking that pace in second. Another seven, eight lengths back to very replaceable third. Up into fourth, Chuckles Candy now trying to move. Then towards the inside, Art of the Dream. To the back of the pack is Texas Giant and Rary Replaceable. It's still, you have to be kidding me, with that lead. Out there at 11 to 1, strictly to 1 to catch. In second, Chaos Kid, Willie Martinez, looking for another win tonight, is inching closer, and he's going to look the leader in the eye and uh, try to go by here in the stretch. Down the center, here comes Very Replaceable, full of run, coming after Chaos Kid. Chaos Kid trying to hang on. Very Replaceable outside towards the rail, Texas Giant. Very Replaceable up on the outside. Here comes Bandy's map. Bandy's map from last to first to get the win here. Tight for second. It's going to be on base, out finishing, very replaceable. And Chaos Kid settles for fourth. Unofficial winning time, 144-1. And they're up and racing in the fifth. Down the side of the track, Zip and Jess breaks alertly for the lead, joined inside by Dominant Stranger. They're on the outside between horses is Lynnbrook and Sylvia. Then we drop back another two and a half lengths. Down the center comes Show Me the Sisters, followed by Lynnbrook. Towards the inside, Blaze of Joy, joined now on the outside by Kelly B. Cruzen, who's got a lot to do. The leader is Zip It Jess, Huber Villa Gomez out there on the lead with Dominant Stranger in pursuit from second. Second back in third is Sylvia. Then racing in the fourth spot comes Show Me the Sisters. Kelly B. Cruz is now underway on the outside. And then the trailers are Lynbrook followed by Blaze of Joy. They're chasing Zip It Jess. He's got the advantage by two. In second, Dominant Stranger. Four wide, Sylvia moving up on the outside right behind them. Show me the sisters looking for racing room, and we'll try to find it down along the rail on the far outside. Kelly B. Cruzen still in with a chance. They dash for home on the inside. It's still Zip It Jess alongside Sylvia surging after the leader. On the inside, desperate room is Show Me the Sisters. It's Zip It Jess hanging on. Photo for the rest between Sylvia, Show Me the Sisters, and Kelly be cruising there in the gate and away they go peanuts perfection breaks alertly for the lead up into second comes jareth to stock that pace towards the inside blitchton and captain mad jack a joint third we drop back another two lengths to scoby and the trailer is piper hill they race down the backside with Peanuts Perfection showing the way, just a neck back. Jareth is up close, putting pressure on the leader. Two and a half more back to Blitchton, racing in third towards the inside. Alongside fourth is Captain Mad Jack. Another two lengths back to Scoby, and the trailer remains Piper Hill. The quarter one in 22 and four fifth seconds outside. Jareth, Harry Hernandez takes a short lead. Peanuts Perfection hanging tough down along the inside. These two stride for stride, and two and a half lengths clear of Captain Mad Jack. Blitched in fourth down towards the inside. And then behind them moving up is Scoby. They dash for the wire. And on the outside, there goes Jareth to take a short lead. Peanuts perfection down along the inside. Up the rail. Blitched in his full of run and coming after the top pair. On the far 
far outside, four wide. Captain Mad Jack trying to close in, in deep stretch, up the rail, blitzed in alongside. Peanuts Perfection, three of them across the track. Photo finish between Blitchton, Peanuts Perfection, Jareth, and on the outside, Captain Mad Jack was up for fourth. Unofficial winning time, 110 flat. Hold all tickets. And they're up and racing. From the inside, Twyla May and Starship Goddess vie for the lead. They're quickly joined in between horses by Gene V's Legacy, who's off slowly but rushes right up, takes over on the lead. Ali Darius is there on the outside, sitting in third. And then the early trailer is De Denu. As they head around the turn, the pace setter, Gene V's Legacy, Pablo Morales out there with a length and a half advantage over Twyla May. Then we drop back another length and a half, or actually on the outside, there goes Ali Darius, was hidden behind the two horse and now moves Moves up, takes second. Outside in fourth comes Day Denu underway. And between horses, the late closure of the St. Jump Street. Last of the group is Starship Goddess. A quarter, 25 and three. And Gene V's legacy continues to lead the way. Up into second is Ali Darius on the outside. Content to sit third, Twyla May and Adila Yella in third. Then upside in fourth is Day Denu from the back of the pack. It's going to be the St. Jump Street swinging outside of Starship Goddess. The half one in 51 flat. Gene V's legacy still with that lead inside Twyla May battles for the second spot joined on the outside there by Day Denyu. then we go back another the two lengths to Aladarius the half mile 51 flat and a short lead for Gene V's legacy in between horses Aladarius looks for racing room down on the rail Twyla May poised to make a stretch move then swinging to the far outside look out for this St. Jump Street starting to roll on the far outside and come after Gene V's legacy in between horses Twyla May now splits horses and comes after the leader it's either Gene V's legacy or Twyla May Twyla May coming on the outside Gene V's Legacy digging down, dig dung, battle to the wire. Twyla May will win by half a length. Gene V's Legacy second best. Back in third is tight. This ain't Jump Street or Starship Goddess. The winning time 143 and two. Delmar both underway in their summer seasons. They're up and racing in the eighth and final. On the far outside, Giglamish comes out running for the lead, quickly joined by Let Peace Prevail, who moves through and takes the lead. Up into third on the move is Nice Ace, and he's coming after second. Down along the rail, contemplating, sits in fourth. Then a gap of two lengths back to dialed in on Alice, who moves through on the inside of Bummer. Also there on the outside is Pure Spring. That leaves Touch of Gray, the trailer. Quarter 22 and three-fifths seconds on the inside. Nice Ace, outside Let Peace prevail these two just a neck apart with the advantage now to nice ace on the inside contemplating races in the third position then sitting in fourth on the outside is giglamesh racing fifth another length and a half behind on the rail dialed in on alice they come around that turn and on the inside nice ace pablo morales has the advantage the two to five favorite in second that is let peace prevail trying to keep up with the leader up on the outside, Bummer and Walber Allen Carr now set down for a late bid. Up the rail comes contemplating, but right now, Nice Ace and Pablo Morales are pouring it on, pulling away six, seven, eight lengths. This is going to be a complete annihilation of this field. So much best. Nice ace, an easy winner. Going to be very tight for the place position. Pure spring up on the outside. Might have outfinished Bummer. And a long ways back in fourth, two dialed in on Alice. Winning time, 116, two-fifths seconds.